Welcome back. This is Thomas Triple T Time with another new bullish crypto analysis. Let's dig in and take a look at Bitcoin. And we're going to focus on pretty much one thing today. And that is Bitcoin and volume. Before we continue, if you find my videos to be of value to you, please uh, smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, and leave comments in the YouTube video section. All right, let's take, take a look at um, Bitcoin on the weekly chart. I'm not sure if you can see this. Um, <laughs> so um, this is TradingView um, one, uh, on the weekly chart. And um, we're going to take a look at volume, which is this line down here. And I have it kind of let me change that. Change that so it's brighter for you. <laughs> Here we go. Gotta remember to change this back later. <laughs> Whoa, that's bright. Hopefully that will make it easier for you to see. All right. Okay. So we're going to focus on um, a volume versus price. So currently you see we have um, Bitcoin is uh, over 44,000 right now. So that's phenomenal. Three green slash white weekly candles. That's very bullish. So yay, Bitcoin. All right, so let's take a look. What uh, price is rising three weeks in a row after uh, a period of correction? And what has volume been doing? In these three weeks that price uh, price is rising, volume is decreasing. So traditionally, uh, like I mentioned in one of my tweets, um, that means that uh, if the price is rising and volume is decreasing, the strength of the rise is weak and it could have a potential for reversal. However, some people say that, well, you know, when price is rallying, the volume doesn't really matter. Well, okay, there are some situations where that applies, but the general guideline still holds that price rising with weak volume, um, with volume decreasing, it's a, a potential reversal. Does it happen, happen all the time? No. These are just um, guidelines. So let's take a look back in scenarios where we had a correction. Uh, let me uh, put my highlighter on. Well, we had a correction and uh, to see what happened now uh, where volume is trending down and see what happened. So the last correction we had was right here. This is roughly around, um, I think this is around May. Yep, this is May. So um, in our in our May correction, we had you know consolidated the top here um, a little bit, and then two red candles dip all the way down, whipped all the way down to here, and that was like twenty nine point four. So that was right here twenty nine point four, and then went sideways and and then went back up. The, the current trend is a little different. This one extended out longer and just dipping down really slow. The volume in this dip down is is big. Look look how big that is right here. It's, there's nothing over here that matches that. So this is it's very different. Okay, so that's first of all. So we want we're looking for a correction that has green candles or white candles going up. So we had a correction here. Then we had three green candles here, right? What, let's take take a look at volume. Did we have decrease in volume? Uh, kinda. Kinda, you know, we had high volume here, then we have low volume here, then low volume, then volume pick back up here. So this is different. Between the uh, second volume bar here that's white to the third, that volume increased. So that's different than what we have here. Our third volume bar here is even tinier <laughs> than the second one. So it's a really weak volume here. So you could say, okay, well, let's just count this anyways. Let's just say that this was decreasing. 
but it's not really. But overall, you can see it's trending down like this. So let's say we counted here. And so here, if we didn't know what happened back here, let's move this like here, and we don't see what's happening there. We're like, okay, well, it's gonna it's gonna break to the upside, right? It's gonna break to the upside. But we already know that it didn't. It went down even further. This one was like 29.5, 28.5, 28.5 is right here. So it went down even further. So um, that, well, that didn't work. So let's go some more. Let's find some more crashes or corrections and see. I think 2018, 2017, we had one. I think this is one of them. OK, well, let's do this one. This one's kind of fun. Um, let's bring it so we can, OK. So this is um, March uh, the 9th, but a bit earlier than that. So this beginning of March 2020. And um, this is when we had that. Uh, COVID-19 um, situation um, hit the U.S. and things just went crazy then. So we had a correction here. Had correction down, wicked all the way down to here, which is $3,742. Wow. <laughs> How would you like to get Bitcoin at that price now, huh? So it went down, and then we had white candles here or green in your chart we had white candles here going up we had a decrease in volume increase in price decrease in volume and guess what it did it went went up right but what's different about this situation this situation is different because when was the last time we had a, a, a pandemic um 1918 so this is a very unusual situation we had a quick correction quick a move up this was you know, one, two, three, four, five, five weeks. Bam, we, we're back. This one here, we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay, well, thirteen weeks. Um, that's a little bit more. And this was gradual. The other one was like a shock to the system. So, if you want to count this one, by all means, go ahead and count it. But I wouldn't because, you know, something like this that happened back in 1918, uh, it's an unusual situation. So, yeah, feel free to count this and say, yeah, a price went up. This didn't matter. Price kept going up. You can do that if you want to count on that. Let's go and find another crash. Uh, this one, not really. 2018. Let's do this one. Uh, this one, uh, we, we had the correction down here, right? And then we had uh, a wick all the way down here. This was back in 2017, uh, no, December, mid-December, roughly. Correction down. We had a white candle here. And then uh, and then it looks like it's going up, but what's happening with volume? Volume's not really going down. It's kind of like going sideways. So does this apply? Well, if it did apply, guess what happened? It went back down. So, you know, um, and this is with even volume, like volume that's just pretty much going across. Um, so, like, okay, let's let's go. Let's take this one. How about this one? This uh, green candle here. It went down, went up, down, and then. So, we, if we take this one, we like look at volume. Volume is still here is pretty much horizontal. In fact. It's increasing, increasing here, increasing here. So that's even a, a more bullish volume pattern than what we have right now. So let's say we counted it. Volume going up, I mean, uh, price goes up, volume goes pretty much sideways, a tad upward. Guess what? Crash all the way back down, even below this point right here. See that? So, yeah, um, you know, if you go back in uh, Bitcoin's history, you, you can see uh, all this. So volume does matter. Um, what we currently have, except for this situation, this was in uh, a very special case, March 2020, when we had um, COVID pandemic starting. Well, it actually started earlier, but that's when it broke, uh, all hell broke loose. So very different than what we have now. 
So the, these three candles, um, green candles right here with volume down, uh, volume decreasing, price increasing. You know, um, I mean, to me, it's a weak signal. I would need more confirmation that this upward trend is going to be sustainable. And so far, um, there are certain bullish indicators that show that we could go up, but we could easily go down. So um, celebrate the upward movement, but we got to be, be prepared for it to dip back down. And I want to show you something else. Back here in the um, around May, you know, when it dipped down, flash all the way down here, went back up three green candles in a row. And guess what? Bam, all the way down again. Right. And then green, a uh, green, a white candle, red, bam, down and then bam, down again. So it tested this bottom level at least three times. Guess how many times we have tested it? Uh, this one was it's the lowest one. So we've got one low, t low, low bottom right here, which was 32. Uh, 338, 328, 329. So we tested the bottom once here. I mean, would it make sense for it to drop back down one or two more times? It could. Good. I would keep that option open. I want it to go up, but I, I would keep this option open. So that's how volume plays with, um, with the price line. Uh, and that's how you can use it. Um, I wouldn't use it alone. I would use it with other uh, indicators to validate your uh, thesis. So, I hope you enjoyed this video and found value. If you did, go ahead and smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe, and leave some comments in the comment section on YouTube. Thanks. Peace.